Okay, everyone, thanks for joining us today. So today I am going to do a quick training and I am going to show you how to use free resources that are available out there and build this landing page where you can promote this. I'm going to show you how you can actually get a QR code for this landing page. And then you will be able to put that QR code on a, then you can put it on a flyer that looks like this. And you can either email that flyer, you can send it in Messenger on Facebook or social media, or you can print a copy of it and you can drop it off anywhere that you think people might be interested in any of our services. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I need to do is make sure that everybody has, has received their free version of Now Site. Now Site looks like this. And you're going to go log in. It looks like this. So use the email that you use to sign up with your password and go ahead and log in. Okay, you said you were going to send me a code. You said I need a code or something. I uh, sent you I sent you the link in the Zoom chat. Go ahead and okay, click on that. Chat. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and click on that. All right. And it is going to take you here. It's going to take you here for a free version. Okay. So go ahead and sign up. First name, last name. Remember the email that you used and the password. Obviously, you'll want it in English. And then click sign up. And then if you guys can give me a thumbs up, when you get that, Mara's got it. Christina's got it. Kathy's got it. Letty's got it. Just waiting for Donna to get there. I'm there. Just uh, finish filling, finish out. I mean, okay. it shouldn't ask you for any billing information. Okay. Okay, I just Okay. And then if you can log in and your screen is going to look something similar to this. I have the paid version so you're not going to see any of this congratulations and things like that. I was actually looking to into this cuz I've seen so many I've seen trainings on this a lot. So yes. I was actually really looking into it. Perfect <laughs> timing. I think, like, you know. <sighs> and then with now.site, they don't always offer a free version, but as soon as I was able to get that free version, I thought this is perfect for all of you to be able to build a landing page off of this. For some reason it's saying incorrect email address. I don't know why. Okay. okay let me try to do it in all caps. Wow. Kim, I have a question. <clears throat> yeah, lady. So the, the landing page and the QR code are mm -hmm. two separate things, but they coincide with each other in the sense that they lead people to you, correct? Exactly. When somebody scans your QR code, it is going to take them to your landing page that you are building right now. So it's easier to put a QR code on something rather than putting the whole link on something because they can 
they can just go directly here. Got Somebody you. gets Thank your flyer, you. they get their phone and they scan it. Or they have to retype your link in, possibly make errors. It's just easier with QR code because it takes them directly to this page. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Don, are you there yet? Yes, I am. For some reason, it wasn't letting me uh, get my email address yep. and I'm there. I, I got it. See, congratulations. Don and Nora signed up. Okay. So Thank from you. this page right here, you're going to go to the little megaphone on the left-hand side where it says marketing. If this is your first time going in here, you're going to see one square that says digital business card. Okay. And you're going to click on the three buttons on the bottom left hand, right hand corner of that card. And you're going to delete it because the free version just gives you one website and we're gonna use that for your landing page. But we're going to incorporate a digital uh, business card in it. So go ahead and delete that so you don't have anything on there. Let me know when everyone has deleted that. So go ahead and open up your marketing page, the megaphone on the left-hand side. You're gonna see a digital business card. Click on the bottom three dots on the right-hand corner of that card and click delete. You wanna get rid of that. And give me a thumbs up when you've done it. You guys before are we, I'm sorry. Before we get to that spot, you said uh, click on the something icon. Yep. On the left hand side, it's the third icon down. And it looks like a little megaphone. If you okay. hover, hover over it, I believe it will say marketing. Let me go ahead and click on that. And that's going to show you your one digital business card that you have for now. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. okay. So now I see the window. Let's get started, Donna. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And Christina, did you delete your business card, your digital business card? I want to make sure everybody's in the same spot before we move on. Yeah, I did it. Okay, perfect. Kathy, are you good? Okay, got a thumbs up from her. Kamara, I don't know if you're doing another one, so you got it. Donna, are you good? Did you delete yes, it? I'm good. Yes, it's deleted. It's okay. been deleted. Perfect. So now Perfect. what I'm going to do is I am going to share my page with you, my landing page, so you don't have to rebuild it. It's going to be super easy, but it's going to be directed towards you. So Kathy um if you can put in the chat what email you used to sign up for now.site or if you just want to tell me is it your mrs harley okay mrs a harley at gmail.com mrs a harley at gmail.com okay Perfect, you should have gotten that. And I'm gonna show you how to open it. So let me just share it with everyone. Letty, can you put your email in the chat so I can share this with you? Let me put my email in. Yep, everyone put their email in the chat that you use to sign up with now.site so that I can share this template with you. It's super easy. Okay, there's Donna's. Now, when you share it with us, are you sharing it through the chat or through like email? I'm actually sharing it through the now.site app. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And I'm going to show you how to retrieve it. Okay. We're going to go step by step. Hey, Kim, so yes. for mines, I already created mines, right, from that last time. So do yes. I need to recreate now? No, because you don't. Links it, or anything? It depends on how you want to do it. Hang tight with me. Let me show you how I'm creating this one. 
And if you want me to share this template with you, you might wanna do it this way instead, and you'll see why. So just hang tight and then okay. you can decide if you wanna do it this way. Gotcha. Okay, so Kathy has it, Letty has it, Christina has it, and Donna has it. Okay, so I've shared it with everybody. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go, there's Rhonda. Rhonda in. There's Rhonda. Where'd she go? Hey, Rhonda. To bring you up to speed, real. Oh, she her audios. Hey, Rhonda. To bring you up to speed, did you get your free version of Now Site and Canva? So for those of you that um, are at this point, go on the left-hand side and you're gonna go to the fourth icon down where it says Teams. Go ahead and click on Teams. And you're okay. going to see something called Shared With Me. And that website template that I just shared with you should show up right here. Give me a thumbs up if you see it. Christina's got it. Letty's got it. Donna and Kathy, do you see the shared template with you? Donna's got it, perfect. And Kathy, you don't see it yet? Okay. Is there anything there in the shared with me or have you gotten to the shared with me? So left-hand side, fourth icon down, Teams. And then when you click on Teams, you're gonna to go to shared with me and it should pop in your website templates. I got a message that it was successfully sent to you. I'm sorry, I'm busy talking. No, oh, I'm Rhonda's. Oh, Hang so tight, Rhonda, and I'll get with you. On the shared with me, that's on the um on the app. Yes, so in the now.site app, we're looking at this, the fourth icon down, it says team. It's a little circle, it looks like there's people inside of it. Hmm. You click on teams and then it should look like my screen and you'll have an area at the top that says shared with me. I'm clicking on team, but it says better communication starts here. It says what? Better communication starts here. And I'm not seeing the icons that you see when I click on team. It says teams on the top and then it says chat. Am I in the right spot? No. Um... My team? Is that it? No, go back to the home page. Click on the now home what? button. Okay, I'm on home. Now what? And then the fourth button down, it should be a circle. I don't see that. I see. This is my screen. Okay, so it's on a tablet view. Let's see that better. 
Should I do it on my iPhone? No, it should work there. It should work right there. I just don't know where. Kim, Let me see. Let, see it again, because remember yeah. this is kind of small, so you can't really see what she's really seeing, you know? Yeah, let me see your screen again, Kathy. Can you see it? Not yet. It says, let's get started, Kathy. Prospects available now, zero. Get prospect and start sale flow. That's okay. the home page. And then under that, it says my daily checklist. Uh -huh. And it has a whole bunch of stars and thumbs yep. up. Yep. So you did. But that's all I see. After that, I don't see anything else. Do you see right under the, the uh, megaphone where, where you were able to access your website? Let me see your screen again. Okay. Now I'm on. I'm just search. Let me go back to the home. There's the home. Oh, perfect. In the meantime, Rhonda, you got your audio working. If you can make sure you have the free versions of Nail Site and Canva. Okay. Thank you. Can you see her screen? No, I can't see your screen. Oh, not my oh, I'm screen. Sorry. No, I can't see Kathy's screen either. Okay, no. hang tight, hang tight, Kathy, and I will, okay. I'll walk you through afterwards. Okay. okay. So those of you that have, can see the template in your shared with me, you're going to hover over that template and click on it. And you're going to get a pop-up that asks you to add to my websites. Kim, so at this section, can you add multiple links or you just need to add one? I don't understand the question. What do you mean by add multiple links? Your social media links? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be able to add multiple social media links and I'm going to show you how. Okay. Yep. So Donna added it to her websites. Christina, did you add it to your websites? And Letty, did you add it to your websites? Click on the down link button. Add to my websites right here. Okay. Once you've added it to your websites and you go back into the icon, the little megaphone icon that says marketing, it should show up just like this. This should be your little square here now that says credit cleaner free consultation. Does everybody have that in their websites now? Can you say that again? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. So after you download that into your website, so you go from the shared, shared with me, you click on the template that I just shared with you and you click on add to my website. Once you do that, you can go into your marketing icon and you should see a square like this that says credit cleaner free consultation. That should be your only website in your back office now. Does everybody see this in their websites now? Perfect. letty has got it. Christina and Donna? Yes, I have it. I have it. Okay. Christina, do you have it? I think I have it. I think I'm where you guys are at. 
I don't have a website uh, set up though for this. Yeah, I'm still trying to get it to download because it keeps asking me like it shows up there that it's that you shared it with me, but then when I click on add it to my websites, it keeps asking me to put in a business name, a website, um, a yep. URL. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. So you're going to let me go back there. Wait, 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 wait. So hold on. Wait, what? Wait. You have a aura? So what we put in like our credit cleaner uh reference. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, you can name okay. this whatever you'd like, your business name. Okay. No. You can name it Colligan Credit Consulting. You can name it Christina credit, whatever you want to name your business name okay. and whatever you want to name your website. How did you get to add to my website? I'm sorry. I think I missed that. Okay. okay. So you're going to go to your shared teams, your teams icon, and then shared with me. And that template should be in there. You should only have one template in there that I just shared with you. Yeah. And you're going to click on that. And you're going to click add to my websites. And you're going to get a pop-up that looks like this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Add. You're welcome. So input your business name. Okay. Input your website name. Okay. And then in the website URL, you can call that whatever you want, but it does need to be one, uh, no spaces. So it's, mine is um, credit cleaner free consultation. Okay. And it really doesn't matter what you name it because you're not going to promote that website. You're going to right. promote the QR code. Okay. So go ahead and name that whatever you'd like and click next. Okay. And then click next. And it should take you says Kim Cruz, Cruz Credit Club Consulting. Yep, exactly. Opening You're in the right the place. Building. Your it should look like this now. This looks like what I've been doing all day, building websites. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm there now. Okay, so everyone should look the same now. So now you have the option to have it look like mine, where it's like this with my business card on top, or you can take this out if you'd like and just have it start with services. Um, congratulations on taking the first steps and services we offer. The reason I like this business card in here because on an interactive landing page, they can actually click on call and it will call your number that you're going to put in here. You can click on email, text. You can click on any of these icons and it's going to route them directly to whatever you've specified. Okay. So Kim, so yeah. Kim for me, that would be an option for Correct. me to be able to put the icons and stuff. Correct. I was you wanted, about that. Mm -hmm. And the other nice thing to this is that you click add to contacts, it will automatically download a digital business card. Or you can actually copy this link by this up arrow and you can send that link to any other device you want or anywhere else you want to send this to. So Kamara, if you want me to share this with you, I can send it to your email. It will be in your shared with me folder. You can delete the other one and then you can download this one if you'd like. No, I actually know how to do that on, um, I just didn't do it because, oh, you know, I okay. want that space and okay. stuff, so, um, I'm going to do the digital um, in a little bit. Okay. I like, Maybe I could do that, but then I just didn't want it to be like too much, you know, on one page, but 
I get that, but I like that they can, these call to action buttons are interactive. That's what I like about this. So Led, Letty, you had a question? Um, yes, please. Um, can you send that to me on my second email? Because I made two accounts accidentally. Yeah, yeah. And put I put the second email. Your, um, did you put in it in the chat? chat? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, that's another nice thing with this. You can, once I've shown you how to do this, you can build other websites with free accounts. Copy. Send this I don't think you can do um, the, the free account. I think it was only a minimum of one. Only one website, but if you sign up for multiple free accounts. You can have, like I have five free accounts on, I have a one paid and then I have five free accounts. Letty is showing that that's not a now.site email. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, but once you get it, let me know and I'll share it with you. So okay. everybody should be here. So if you want to keep this on here, this digital, business card. Click on the digital, digital business card and it's going to bring up your editable fields on the left hand side. You can change to your full name, change. It's going to show up as mine. Put your name there. Put whatever title you want. Okay. Change your bio. You can keep the add to contacts, but you can change the phone number. You can change the email, the message text. If you have another website you'd like to put in there, put your other website in there. And then here is where you can put your social media templates or excuse me, your social media links in. If you don't have a social media link for LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, just leave it blank and that box will not appear on your digital business card. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that and then you're going to click OK once you complete that. Kim, I just realized um, why I didn't do the business card as well because even if I would have done the business card, your information was still linked to that particular website. So the landing page. So I wasn't able to like uh, delete your stuff. You Correct. Know? Just be Correct. I have to either send it back to you with your information in it or send it back to you with that information taken out. Okay. All right. Um, if you can send it with the information in it and then I don't okay. have to... Because I can yep. still do the business card, but even if I do the business card, it's just that your stuff is still on that page. Correct. Correct. So. That's why on this one, I took my information out. Oh, okay. So yeah. My, well, then so, send me this. Okay. Yeah, send me this one, and then I'll do my adjustments and everything. Again. Okay. Well, all of you are editing those fields on the left-hand side. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to send it to Kamara. Do I need to delete the other one so you can have yes. one? Yep. yep, you're going to have to delete it. Okay, there you go, Kamara. There's the new one. I have a question, Kim. Yeah. With the email that you use to create this, right? Mm -hmm. Is that email exposed to anyone? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. However, when somebody fills out information on your landing page, that's how you will be notified by the email that is in the system. Okay. Okay. Now, let me know when everyone is completed 
their updates on the left hand side with your name, your title, your bio, your phone number, your social media template, your social media links. Let me know when everyone is completed with that. In the meantime, let's see. Kathy, were you able to get to the team section on the ta uh, tablet? No. No, okay. I'm still at um, the digital business card. Were you able to delete the biz digital business card? I thought I did. Okay. All right. Now it says digital business card eight. Because eight people look at it and then one person. Okay. Can you get to this page right here where it has your websites? Mm -hmm. No, that's not coming up. On the websites, when I hit websites, the only thing that comes up is digital card. It says what? The digital card. Okay, so I don't think you have any websites there. That's good. But right below that, where you clicked to get into the website, is there another icon right below it? No, it's the, the, the three that are on top is your content, website, and join terms. What's the last one? Joined home. Click on that. Okay. I'm finished, uh, Cam. I'm just going to go ahead and add my social media links late. I'm just going to okay. save it. Can I okay. just save it? Save yep. and act. Yep. What you want me to press? Save or save yep. and act. Everyone needs to make sure that you click save. If you do not click save, nothing will be saved. Right. Okay. Just hit okay. save. Okay. I'll just come back late and add more stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Kathy, hang tight. And Rhonda, did you get the now.site and the Canva programs, the free app versions? Uh, not yet. Uh, actually, we're planning on doing that tonight. Okay. Then what I'll do is I will send you a copy of this recording, okay. and then you'll be able to follow along. But there um, are spots where you will have to send me your email addresses, okay? okay. And you'll you'll see them in the recording. Okay. Right. So moving on. So everybody saved their version of this. Now you're going to go to preview. You're going to click on the preview version or button at the top. And it's going to take you to the live version of your landing page you just built. This is really cool. So is this only for network marketing? You can use this for digital marketing too? You can use it for anything. You might want so to check out the now.site paid version because I know you do digital marketing for other people. It might be something you want to invest in because it's so easy to use. Oh yeah, I'm definitely. I told you I was really. Uh, I had seen someone uh, do something on it, and I was considering it. So I think yep. I will now. <laughs> yep. So once you get to your live version through that preview button, you're going to right click on your landing page. And when you right click on your landing page, you're going to see create QR code for this page. You're going to create the QR code and it's going to pop up on your screen. It's going to look something like this. And you're going to download it. So now you have that QR code on your computer and you can save it wherever you'd like or leave it in your download files or anything like that. Okay. Once you download that, now you have the ability to use that on any marketing piece that you would like. And our Canva, our team Canva account, I already built three flyers that you can use and there you just interchange your information with mine. So if you are not part of our collaborative Team Canva account, drop your email in the chat 
so that I can make sure I add you so you have access to all of our team's graphics. So once you have access, this is what it's going to look like. You have access to all of these graphics that you can use for your own social media posting. Just interchange your information where it's needed. But some of them are generic and you don't even need to change anything. But say we want to use the business credit building. I have one for business credit building, debt relief, and personal credit. Okay, so... Here's Mayor uh, Rhonda's. Let me add you to our team. Copy. Paste. Kim, could I ask a question? Of course. Um, so when I am editing in the team right now um, uh -huh. on Canva, uh -huh. how am I able to go to, like take that template and use it in my account? It's like I can I can only edit it and everything in this account, but I I can't like take it. When, in. when you save it, it's not saving in our team; it's saving in yours. So if you go out of here, it should be in your home or your projects. All right, so let me try to save it. And actually, Canva is really intuitive. You don't even have to press the save button; it automatically saves. Um, save file, save so folder. Going, All right, my, your projects. You click on home. It should be in your recent designs. Okay, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. Okay. So now that you have access to our team <laughs> folder, you can click on, if you're in Kim Duran Cruz's team, you can click on, one of those flyers. And what you wanna do is you wanna put your QR code in your media file on Canva. So you're gonna to go to upload, you're gonna upload media, and you're gonna find that QR code that you were just using. Open, and it will download into your media images for Canva. Can you do that again? Because I was screenshot and you kind of did it a little too quick. Sorry. <laughs> yep. You're going to go to upload. And then it's going to take you to all of your uploads. You shouldn't have any at this point if you're brand new to Canva. And then you're going to hit upload media. And it's going to bring you to your files. It is probably in your download that for today. You might have to change the custom file to all files. And it should show up or if you know where you saved it bring it in from that uh, location and click open okay and Thank it'll you. fit into your canva media okay so now once it's in your canva media you can change this image however you want this is yours to use. So you can take my picture out, change the name, change the phone number, take this QR code out and bring in, you just grab it and bring it in. And now that's your flyer. You can click on share once you have that done. You can click on share, you can download it. It'll ask you what file you want it downloaded in. In a PNG, a JPEG, if you want a PDF. If you're going to be printing things, you're gonna to wanna to put it in a PDF print. Click download and now that's your file. And then you have all these other files that you can use that on. If you wanna do the debt relief, the business credit building, personal credit, you can put that QR code wherever you'd like. One last thing, I want you to go back to your landing page that you built. 
one that looks like this with your information on it. And fill that out with your first name and last name, your email, your phone number, when you get a chance, send me a copy of this recording too as well, if you don't mind, Kim. Sure, will do. What time do you want your consultation? Don't worry, this isn't going to Credit Cleaner. This is going to go to you, and I'm going to show you how it's going to you. What time they want the consultation? 10 a.m., they are Pacific time zone. And remember, we have four different languages that we can give consultations in. So what language do they uh, prefer? And if you know what they are interested in, if they're debt relief, credit building, or credit repair, you can put that in there. And the reason I put referred by is that you can actually send this landing page, this QR code, this flyer, whatever you want to do. You can actually send it to finance managers. You can send it to bankers. You can send it to loan officers whoever you want, but you can ask who were they referred by so that you, when you get this information, you can send a quick thank you back to them to say, hey, thank you for sending me the referral. So you can put whoever you want in there, myself. And when you hit submit, you're, it will automatically route you to a thank you page that is generic that I'm hosting for all of you. So you can see it doesn't have any of my social media on it. It's just a generic thank you page, but it also has the credit level information so that it lets them know someone from credit level is going to be calling you for your free consultation. If you cannot make it, here's a phone number where you can call in directly and they'll assist you. If they need a copy of their credit report, it will give them the link to get all three of their credit reports for only a dollar. And that's right here. Check your credit for a $1 trial. So everything is intuitive. Everything is already set up. Now, when you, when you got the, um, when you input all that information and hit submit, let me show you what you will get. You should have received something like, um, Here you go. You're going to get an email sent to the email that you set up now.site with. And here's the email. Congratulations, you have a direct customer. Oops, Donna put her information in my file. There we go. Where is it? Come on. Where is, that's a customer. Maybe spam? It shouldn't go to spam. It should go directly to my, it should go directly to my email. But let me double check my spam. Hey Kim, I have my email open where, um, when a client did actually fill out their uh, form, how it went straight to my um, email and everything, and they were able to, I was able to see form entry. Oh yeah, wait. Can you share your screen? Because I think I um, opened up the <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I just saw your information in mine, so. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh... That's really weird. So show show me your screen instead. All right. Show um, your screen. Give me the access. I need some access. Um, hostability. Give you access. You got it. Perfect. All right. You can see it. Yep. There you go. 
All right, so see where it says no reply at edit my um, site. And then um, click on, oh, see, that was someone who filled it out today. Yes, so go, go ahead and open that one up. Oh, wait, hold on, let me. The new entry form. I actually know that was from my actual site. Oh, site. okay. From my site, site, because I have forms on my site to make sure I know who's filling out what it says. All right, so scratch that. But this is what it's going to look like. See that new contact alert? You see this there here? There you go. Yep. So this was a client that actually filled out from the now site. And um, he set up all his information and I was able to put all of this information in my, um, my back office. Perfect. But that's what it's going to look like. It's going to say now site, new contact alert. And see how you have everything that you need in order to get you set up for a free consultation. Yes, it was perfect. So then, now you can promote your flyer that you have in Canva, or you can promote your QR code that you just created. Thank you for sharing that, Kamara. No problem. I was so excited when it like, I, I did the site and everything, and then I went and edited and, and whatnot, and then implemented it in my um, actual website. So like the clients on my site, they'll fill out that form, but then I'll get an email saying that they filled out a form and it takes them to there. And it just was a, such a smooth customer journey for them. And they just filled it out. And I was like, well, what time you're, make it easier for yourself, you know? And they signed up like right away. Perfect. So see how easy that is when you uh, create it that way. And then you don't have to worry about links being broken. You can thank whoever um, submitted the information. You can get back directly to them if you choose to. So what question, Letty, were you able to get through to the very end? Yes, I do have a question though, because yes. I thought, I think the, the, email, the webinar, excuse me, that I kind of I came in late for. I think I created a Canva account, and that's probably why I thought I had two accounts. Oh, okay, okay. So, you, do you have access to see those emails for the Canva? No, but I can add this one to the um, Canva team. Okay, but let me add that email to you. All right. Okay, so I sent you an invite there also. Okay, so thank you. you should, you're welcome. Can you just show me how to do the QR code it's real quick? Really neat. It yeah. even has like a little email uh, system, like, you know, to show you like who's opened up the systems and all. It's all included. Yep, this is exactly. definitely worth the money. <laughs> so, Christina, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, your website, your credit, um, the one that we built for you is so the one that we just built for you okay and you're going to right click on that and you're going to see create qr code for this page and when you click on that a qr code is going to pop up and that's how easy it is to create qr codes on your own you don't have to pay anybody to do it you can just simply do qr code Okay. And then Donna, you are all set. Rhonda, you're gonna watch the replay. And Kathy, I'm gonna see if we can figure out where that I want the is replay as well too, uh, Kim. Okay, I want perfect. The replay as well. I'll Thank send you. that out. And real quick now to show you the experience. Let me go back here. this download just downloading this 
And if you want, let me open this. Let me share this with you instead. Go ahead and take your phone and put the camera on and hover it over the now.site logo or that QR code. And you'll see that it will take you directly to your landing page. Or in this case, it's mine because you're scanning my QR code. But it gives you the effect of what your clients are going to go through when they scan your QR code. It's going to take them to your landing page. Pretty cool? Yes, ma'am. Kim. I actually found, I'm sorry. It, uh, it's okay, go ahead. I was just going to say, I actually just found out that feature with the uh, create QR code uh, uh, probably like a month ago now yep. when I was trying to create something, so. Yep, and most people don't even know that that's available. And here now you have access to a now.site that's free. You have access to the Canva that's free and you can do all of this without spending any money. Letty, did you have another comment or question? Yes. So for my girls that missed it today, right? Mm -hmm. Because you sent me the information, can I send them the info and then help them do it? Well, the problem is, is that on the free accounts, you can't share templates. So they need to send me the email for now.site and the email for Canva. Once they do that, I can share the template with them and I can give them access to Canva. Problem okay. is, is that I will, I'm leaving on vacation as soon as our webinar is done. So I will get yeah. to it as soon as I can, but I can't guarantee when it would be. It will be okay, this week. Fine. It'll just be in between family that's things, fine. things like that. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, you know, they didn't hop on, but, um, yeah. Um, they'll have the recording and everything later once you do the email when you have the opportunity, of course. Perfect. So for those of you that are watching the replay of this, go ahead and direct message me your now.site email that you used, and I will share that template with you. And send me the email that you used to create your free Canva account, and I will add you to the team's Canva folder so you have access to all of those files does that make sense hey, yes so ma'am well, i already have it. access to canva teams uh one perfect so all okay. right i will go ahead and end this recording okay